So we're already two weeks into 2019, and I bet all of you are absolutely crushing your resolutions this year. But one of the most popular resolutions people make each and every year is to learn a new language. But why? Why are people interested so much in learning a second language? I mean, isn't English enough? If you think about it, you don't really need to know a new language, considering you already know English, judging from the fact that you're watching this video. Unless, of course, you're watching this video to learn English, in which I have to apologize, because dang, I speak really fast. Welcome to hard mode, superfluous rhododendron. Whoops. And I know that's how a lot of people actually think, but it does make sense. Like, if you already know English, which is the most widely spoken language in the Western world, and you don't plan on leaving the Western world, then what purpose would you really have with learning a new language? Fun? What other purposes are there? Well, I'm gonna explain it. Let's jump into it. Let's start with the basics. You're basic, okay? If you only know one language, you just, it's just a little bit basic. You're like on the standard default character in The Sims, okay? You gotta learn uh, something else besides Simlish. Does that make sense? I've never played Sims, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna be honest. Seriously, learning a new language helps you be more interesting, okay? I don't even need a source for that. It's just true. Look it up in your head. 75% of Americans only know English. That's three out of every four. And it's not even that much better in the UK where 62% only know English. That's about three in five. Thinking about that one stat alone, if you can speak another language besides English in America, you already have a skill that over 75% of people around you do not have. That's significant. And it definitely makes you more interesting, considering you have a skill that over three quarters of people don't have. I remember when I found out my friend Sammy not only knew English, but also French and Arabic. And I was like, dang, that's so freaking cool. Like, how how do, how do I not know this about you? And then, geez, it just made him so much more interesting in my book. But don't tell him that, okay? Don't want to raise his ego too much. Now, besides adding a sprinkling of interesting to your personality, having a skill that 75% of people don't have is obviously going to come in hand when it comes to job prospects. Now, this is the case on multiple fronts, and I'm not just talking about jobs as a translator or working at a tourism board or even teaching English in a foreign country. Not even just those jobs, but jobs in your home country, let's just say America, big international companies are always looking for people that have a very specific set of skills and also are bilingual. Why? Let's just say you're doing marketing. They need someone that's good with acquisition. Well, they also are trying to expand into, let's just say, Spain. They need someone that has a good understanding of the culture there and also the language so that way they can implement services more. Why would they hire someone that only knows English when they can get two for one special dos por uno? Still working on the Spanish. And they can get it with just one person that's bilingual. It basically does do a really good job of increasing your prospects at a lot of international jobs. But it doesn't just help down to the role itself, but learning another language helps in terms of the connectability and relatability with the employer or with anyone really. It is so much easier to make friends with someone if you have that common ground. We all know that when you find out that a friend like also enjoys the same memes as you or enjoys the same video games as you, there's so much of a common ground to have a good friendship there. That is twofold when it comes to languages. Why? Here's an example. When I found out that a person I know is from Germany, it's like, immediate friendship, Phil. I already have so many questions. There's so much I can talk about. Why? I'm becoming engrossed in their culture, engrossed in their language. The fact that they grew up in this thing that I'm currently like learning about each and every day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many questions. Uh, is it really like this in the schools like that? Do they really charge a tax for that? Um, don't you like how the language does this and this and this? I am immediately showing so much of an interest in their history and their like backstory as a human. They're going to be like, wow, okay, I feel appreciated. This is great. And then they're going to feel appreciated. I'm going to be appreciated because I'm learning from them. They're like, it's, it's such an easy common ground to make friends. 100%, that's not just one story, this has happened with multiple people. In terms of making friendships, it's just so much easier to make these connections right off the bat because you already have so much to talk about. At least if you're getting incredibly engrossed in it, like myself. Another good reason to learn a new language this year is that it just opens up so many doors for potential enjoyment of other arts and cultures that you never would have gotten to enjoy before and also helps you appreciate the culture you already enjoy even more so. As an example of that, recently I finished a book that I heavily enjoyed called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance and there was a passage at one point where the author quoted a German poet. But I didn't have to wait for him to translate it, which was a bit further down in the book. I knew what it meant immediately. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's in German. And uh, yep, that's the father and the son and the blah, 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 blah. And it was just really cool for me to be like, hey, I get that. Hey, that's cool. It felt like I was able to enjoy that small bit of the book a bit more than someone else that didn't have that small amount of knowledge. Now, of course, that's small, but there's so many other instances of this. For instance, yes, I watched some World War II films and it's really cool to be able to immediately know what the Germans are saying. Shoot them. It's not that hard. But no, it is cool to be able to be like, hey, I know that. I didn't have to read that. Hey everyone, did you know I'm, did you know I'm learning German? Is that, hey, it's cool to me. It just makes me feel like I can appreciate all the art that I already enjoy, except just a little bit more. Like I get a little bit of extra sprinkle of, hey, I like that. Now you might be thinking like, I don't know what languages to pick and I don't even know if I know any people to speak another language in besides English, that's all I know and shouldn't I be working on my English? Well, fun fact, by learning another language, you are going to be improving your English a lot. It's going to help your English vocabulary, your grammar, the way that your brain is able to spit out sentences. It's phenomenal. Let's think about it this way. When was the last time you had to look through your English sentences and go, that's a predicate, that's a subject, that's a participial phrase, preposition, gerund. I don't even know if, if anyone here knows what each of those words means, but those are like the actual like building blocks of grammar in the English language. 
those exist in every other language, and you know, we're out of school now, so we're not really learning that, but by starting a new language, we're refreshing our minds with how the grammar works, especially since I'm doing German. Germans love their grammar. They love it way too much. They declense everything, okay? Very tight butts. I don't know if that makes sense, but by learning German, my grammar in English has increased a lot. And you know who's really proud of me about that? My grandma. It's, it's grandma, but pronounced with a British accent. I'm really sorry. I'm, oh. But speaking of puns, one of the most important reasons to learn a language this year, it increases your pun potential, people. Who wants to be funny, right? You wanna be funny? You wanna be funny in two languages? You're no longer confined to just English. Let your pun flag fly, all right? Learning it in German, Spanish, French, it doesn't really matter, just go with the puns, okay? For instance, do you know why they never make omelets in France with more than one egg? It's because one egg is enough. There we go, we did, okay. <laughs> why are German dictionaries so wet? Cause they're water books. Okay, I pronounced that a bit weird to make the joke work, but it was a stretch, okay? The point is, we're making German puns, okay? It was supposed to sound like water. Honestly, if you still aren't convinced to learn a new language this year, here's my last reason. Memes, okay? You open a new world of memes. Think of all your favorite memes that you love each and every day, sharing on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, Reddit, whatever you're using right now. There's an entire other realm of memes in the other language that you're hoping to learn, okay? Think of all the extra laughs and funny and depression stemming memes that you could be sharing a lot, okay? For instance, I subscribe to not only the English me IRL subreddit, but also Ich Il, which is the same thing, but German. A lot of the times it's just translations of them, and I find them a bit funny that I'm able to get them, and I go, haha, uh, at least I can understand what that means. I, I don't understand the cultural reference, but we're gonna upvote it, you know, but it's still funny. Some of them are like, Bruder muss los. I understand it kind of, but it's not as understandable as Du Horensan, yo. Sprich Deutsch, Du Horensan. Sprich Deutsch, Du Horensan. Sprich Deutsch, Du Horensan. I mean, that's pretty easy to understand. Sprich Deutsch, Du Horensan. So I've got a challenge for you all this year. Learn a new language in 2019. Or if you're watching this in 2020 and going, anyone watching this 2020? Whatever. Come, okay, learn a new language that year as well, okay? That'd be a good idea. But I'm not just gonna sit up here on my lofty throne of barely understands another language and going, huh, yes, you should do it because I kind of did it and it's cool. No, 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 okay? I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm also going to be learning a new language this year. I'm going to be learning Spanish. Now, I did learn Spanish a lot in school, but it's been so long since I learned it, it's just fragments in my brain. How am I gonna be tying those fragments together? Starting from scratch with German as a base level. I'll be using Duolingo, and instead of going, let's just say, la silla means the chair, all right? And then going, ah, oh, I know the English for that. It's going to, la silla means der Stuhl, the German for chair. And instead of in my brain going back and forth and forming a V of like, Spanish translates to English, translates to German, I'm making new connections, okay? New connections, that make it a full-on triangle, rotating it so that each part of my brain that knows a different part of language is going to get even stronger. It's going to be strengthening my German roots and it's also going to be building up my Spanish, which is no longer going to just be attached to English, but also to German, and also, oh my gosh, it's so intense. Learning a new language like this is like, it feels like my brain has like two different processes running at double speed and it's amazing. It feels like I'm learning them twice as fast. But as I'm not like 100% proficient in German yet, I am still going Going to be going hard to increase that amount. I'm not just going to stick with these German basics because I'm doing Spanish. I'm also going to be currently reading Harry Potter 4. It's great. I'm just slowly making my way through the entire series and it's getting more difficult. As you remember, if you've actually read the books in English, the, the reading level gets a bit more, in, you know, difficult. I find it so interesting how when I start a new reading session, I start a bit slow and I'm like trying to get my grips with the words and the language. And then after a half hour goes by, I'm just whizzing on through. It, it, you get so familiar with words such as like said, replied, and whispered, and wand. You never know when you gotta use that in real life. But you get so familiar with these words that you don't even need to stop to like look for context anymore. You just know it. And even when it does come to those words, I'm getting 80% of them right now just because I know the context. One of my biggest shortcomings when it comes to my German education, I feel like, is my listening comprehension. I just really don't like audiobooks. I also don't listen to podcasts too often unless the topic is like super interesting. And you know, I don't even like watching films that much unless it's a film I really wanna watch. So it really puts me at odds end here. However, what I have been doing following a lot of different German girls on Instagram because their Insta stories have helped me immensely. Sure, the topics of the conversation aren't that interesting. Things more along the lines of, Hallo Freunde, heute habe ich ein tolles Frühstück gemacht. You know, n not the most interesting of conversations, but hey, I'm like, I know what she's doing. She's cooking that bacon. That's good looking schmanken, schmicken. I need to study more. <laughs> I should have went with first. Why didn't I just say first, I'm the first? But yeah, who says social media can't be productive? Every minute I spend looking at different Insta stories, I'm actually learning, genuinely. It's pretty great. And lastly, I still do get a lot of tweets and video comments in German, which is great. Thank you, German speakers, because I always try and reply in German, because that's the whole point. <laughs> Why would I reply in English? I do get tempted a lot of times, because yes, some miscommunications happen quite often when I just hear one of the words and go, I know what that means, and I reply, and it turns out I missed the one before where the person said they didn't like it, and I went, I love that. 
Hey, learn a language, it helps you make your friends, okay? Learn a new language today, please. I challenge you, we'll be learning together. Let's do it. Let's make 2019 Zwanzig or... <laughs> I don't remember what 2019 is in Spanish. This is why I'm learning a new language, okay? This is why I have to go back. I can't even remember numbers. Jeez. But yes, I'll be documenting my language learning journey all throughout the year. Hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be, let's just say, A1, A2 proficient in Spanish. That's a lofty goal, but shoot for the stars, fall amongst the vela, waves, Evan Volta. Yeah. That's what I was going to go for. And also, let's see if my German can get like past B1 certification. That'd be great by the end of the year. That's uh, not that hard of a goal, I think. It should be pretty fine for that. Let's learn a language together. And I know it's been a really long time since Oktoberfest, but hey, I finally uploaded my Oktoberfest vlog. It's because I was really drunk and it took me a while to edit it because I couldn't remember what happened. But there it is. If you want to watch that, I really enjoyed it. So, my travel channel, please check that out. And also, if you want to watch my other videos on German learning or Duolingo, I have a little playlist here. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next Sunday. Sorry for speaking so fast. Adios. <laughs>